Ever wondered who laid the groundwork for the axiom of choice and set theory? It was none other than Ernst Zermelo. Born in Berlin, Germany in 1871, Zermelo was a pioneering mathematician who significantly contributed to the foundations of mathematics. Coming from an academic background, he was encouraged to pursue scholarly endeavors from a young age. He studied at three universities, broadening his knowledge in mathematics, physics, and philosophy under the tutelage of great minds like Frobenius, Planck, and Husserl. Zermelo's most notable work was in the field of set theory, where he formulated the axiom of choice. This axiom has since played a crucial role in various branches of mathematics. Zermelo's work has had a lasting impact shaping the way we understand and approach mathematics. Now let's delve into the life of this remarkable mathematician and see how he shaped the field of mathematics. Born in Berlin in 1871, Ernst Zermelo was raised in an academic family. His father, Ferdinand Zermelo, was a college professor, instilling in young Ernst an appreciation for intellectual pursuits from an early age. His mother, Maria Augusta Elisabeth Ziegler, also played a crucial role in fostering his academic leanings. Ernst Zermelo's secondary education was at the Luisenstädtisches Gymnasium in Berlin, a prestigious institution where he displayed a keen interest in a variety of subjects. His graduation in 1889 marked the end of this first chapter in his educational journey, but it was just the beginning of his academic pursuits. In the late 19th century, it was customary for German students to study at multiple universities. Zermelo did just that, spreading his curiosity across the universities of Berlin, Halle, and Freiburg. His studies spanned a broad spectrum, delving into mathematics, physics, and philosophy. During his time at these universities, Zermelo was fortunate to attend courses taught by some of the era's most celebrated academics. Among them were Frobenius, Lazarus Fuchs, Planck, Schmidt, Schwartz, and Edmund Husserl. These inspiring figures ignited Zermelo's passion for mathematics, which led him to undertake research after completing his first degree. In 1894, he was awarded a doctorate by the University of Berlin for his dissertation on the calculus of variations, following the Weierstrass approach. This thesis saw Zermelo extend Weierstrass's method to a higher level while providing a meticulous definition of the concept of neighborhood in the space of curves. Zermelo's academic journey didn't stop there. He remained at the University of Berlin as an assistant to Planck, who held the chair of theoretical physics. Under Planck's guidance, Zermelo's work began to gravitate towards applied mathematics, and he started researching for his habilitation thesis in hydrodynamics. This diverse educational background laid the foundation for Ernst's future groundbreaking work in mathematics. From his early days in Berlin to his doctoral studies and beyond, Zermelo's intellectual curiosity and academic prowess set the stage for his incredible contributions to the mathematical world. After completing his doctorate, Zermelo began his journey into the world of academic research. With a fresh degree in hand, Zermelo continued his work at the University of Berlin, where he was appointed assistant to the renowned physicist Planck. Under Planck's guidance, Zermelo's focus started to shift toward applied mathematics. He dived into the study of hydrodynamics, the branch of physics that deals with the motion of fluids and the forces acting on solid bodies immersed in fluids and in motion relative to them. Meanwhile, Zermelo's academic journey was about to take an exciting turn. He was drawn to Göttingen, a city that was a leading global hub for mathematical research during that time. Here, he completed his habilitation a qualification required in order to conduct self-contained university teaching in certain countries, including Germany. His dissertation, titled Hydrodynamische Untersuchungen über die Wirbelbewegungen in einer Kugelfläche, was a thorough exploration of the vortex movements on a spherical surface. This impressive piece of research earned him an immediate appointment as a lecturer at Göttingen. His contributions to statistical mechanics and the calculus of variations played a significant role in securing this position. While at Göttingen, Zermelo was exposed to a vibrant mathematical environment that would further shape his research interests. He was particularly intrigued by Cantor's continuum hypothesis, a conjecture about the possible sizes of infinite sets. 
This hypothesis was seen by Hilbert as a fundamental question mathematicians should tackle in the 20th century. Hilbert suggested a method to approach this conjecture, proposing that one should first attempt to prove another of Cantor's conjectures, that any set can be well-ordered. Zermelo took up this challenge, marking a major shift in his research direction. Unbeknownst to him at the time, this move would lead him to make some of the most significant contributions to the field of mathematics. Zermelo's work was about to take a significant turn, leading him to some of the most important contributions in mathematics. In the early 1900s, Zermelo embarked on a quest to prove one of Cantor's conjectures, leading to his development of the axiom of choice. This axiom, a cornerstone of Zermelo's work, revolutionized the field of set theory. The axiom of choice, in essence, states that for any collection of non-empty sets, there exists a function that can choose a specific element from each set. It might seem intuitive, but its implications are profound and far-reaching. It allows mathematicians to construct objects and perform operations that would otherwise be impossible. For instance, it facilitates the creation of non-measurable sets, which are sets that defy our conventional understanding of length, area, or volume. Zermelo's work, however, didn't stop at the formulation of the axiom. He went on to prove that every set can be well-ordered, a result deeply connected to the axiom of choice. A set is well-ordered if, for any subset, there is always a least element. This may sound simple, but proving it was anything but. It's like saying no matter how you group or arrange the elements in a set, there's always a smallest one that you can start with. This concept is fundamental in various proofs and constructions in mathematics. Zermelo's work on the axiom of choice and the well-ordering theorem were not without controversy. Some mathematicians questioned the axiom's validity due to its non-constructive nature and its ability to lead to paradoxical results. However, Zermelo defended his axiom vigorously, arguing that it was not only consistent, but also necessary for a comprehensive understanding of set theory. Zermelo's axiom of choice has since become a fundamental part of set theory, shaping the field as we know it today. His work, though initially contentious, has proven to be a cornerstone of modern mathematics, demonstrating the power of abstract thought and the importance of challenging convention in the pursuit of knowledge. Zermelo's work wasn't limited to his early years. He continued to contribute to mathematics until his death in 1953. His later life was marked by a relentless pursuit of knowledge and a resolute dedication to his field. He remained immersed in the world of mathematics, constantly pushing boundaries and expanding our understanding of complex concepts. In the early 20th century, Zermelo's focus shifted towards set theory, where he made significant strides. He introduced the Zermelo's axioms, a set of principles that have since become a cornerstone of modern set theory. This work didn't just change the course of his career, it changed the course of mathematics. But Zermelo's influence wasn't confined to the realms of academia. His work has had a profound impact on various fields, from computer science to philosophy. His axioms have been used to develop algorithms, and his concepts have been employed to explore philosophical questions about infinity and the nature of the universe. Zermelo's later years were spent in Freiburg, Germany, where he continued his research and writing. He passed away in May of 1953, but his legacy lives on. His theories and principles continue to be studied and applied in the present day, and his contributions to set theory remain a crucial part of mathematical education. Ernst Zermelo was more than just a mathematician. He was a pioneer, a thinker, and a visionary. His work has shaped the world of mathematics and beyond. His ideas have pushed us to think deeper, to question more, and to strive for a better understanding of the world around us. Zermelo's story is a testament to the power of curiosity and the impact of a single mind. It's a reminder that the pursuit of knowledge is a lifelong journey, one that can change the world in ways we might never anticipate. Ernst Zermelo may not be a household name, but his contributions to mathematics have had a profound and lasting impact. Next time you delve into set theory, Remember the man who helped lay its foundations. In the grand scheme of mathematical history, Ernst Zermelo played a crucial role. Born into an academic family in Berlin, 
his journey through the world of mathematics was both vast and influential. From his early education, through his studies at renowned universities, to his groundbreaking work in set theory, he left an indelible mark on the field. His pioneering work, specifically the Zermelo's axiom, and his contributions to the calculus of variations have become fundamental concepts in mathematics. But beyond the theories and principles, Zermelo's impact is seen in the way we approach complex mathematical problems today. His dedication to rigorous proofs and clear definitions has shaped the way we think and work in mathematics. In his lifetime, he faced both triumphs and challenges, but his legacy is undeniable. His work continues to inspire and guide mathematicians around the world. So, the next time you encounter a well-ordered set or the axiom of choice, remember Ernst Zermelo, the man who made it all possible.